Yo, 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 it's Service the Bear here, and I'm back doing a Let's Play of Factorium that I just recently purchased on Steam. Now, I have been fiddling about with it, just getting some stuff set up on the thing just now. Building the large of powerful fireball team, coupled with multi-shot, high-explosive, high-impact runes, the wizard uh, was a nightmare to those who opposed him on the battlefield. We've got Tempest here, which is uh, well known for his might within the storm school of magic. The uh, Victorium was fond of using a lightning spell that could jump by, jump by enemies, basically chain lightning. Bringer. An embodiment of the Christmas spirit. Nice. This mighty wizard sought to bring cheer and doom to all who opposed him. Cheer and doom to all who opposed him? I am curiously interested in this. See, when I clicked it, it gives me a Santa hat. Okay. Let's have a look. So we get spread, Glacier Room distrib distributes the spell across a wider area, damage to all its path. Only usable on ice spells, 65 additional amount of cost to the Okay. Zoric Rune increased projectile speed to yield a greater impact on target. Only usable on the spells. 8 additional mana costs, 60% impact damage, 25% splash damage, 100% speed, and 100% knockdown. Knockback. Christmas present. Holiday Jumped Up Spell. Give them the gift, they'll never forget. <laughs> 18 target damage, 18 splash, 10 splash damage. Okay, 1.5 meter splash radius, 50 speed, 5 knock back, and uh, 1 base spell modifier. 
Oh, it's great. I'm going to go for that for a laugh. Yeah. I will be the Christmas giver. Bringer of doom. Oh. Uh, Victorian Singlet Ring. Okay. My gloves for some resistance. Armored robes. Thick clues. Okay. Christmas present tone, Christmas tree tone, the dreidel tone, or dreidel, sorry, dreidel, yeah. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. You might hear some other people talking in the background because my folks are in the hall and I haven't got the door closed or anything. I can't be bothered with that. Uh, okay, so. The story of Servius. The Bear, the Gift Bringer. Chapter One. It was impossible, of course, but Servius the Bear was a factorum. The last one, and by the stretch in the very limits of his power and of creation itself, he survived his own execution. Such powers comes with a price. However, his body was warped with corruption, his mind scarred with the brief blazing glimpse of the world that moment gave him of the horrors within the miasma. And of the Inquisition, its endless armies already stirring, a hound scenting the magic trace of his miracle. Servius the Bear could not run away, not forever, or sorry, could not run away, not forever, but he could run toward. He cast his vision onto this map, marking the way for the Grand Inquisitor. Marked with red, marked with blood. It was the Grand Inquisitor who had decreed Servius the Bear would die. And it was death he would receive. Great! They're coming to kill me! Yay! Well, guess what? I ain't going down, Cookie. So, this is a map. It was an unknown rank over, however. Okay, okay, so we basically jump from mountain, 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 okay. Uh, a vendor that could provide healing supplies for life here. Let's go. Dunbask. The gift bringer followed the cobblestone road through a chill, brisk wind of the Dunbask. Smoke rose above the trees, and soon enough an abandoned wagon hove into view, its owners and the escort freshly dead nearby. Fire crackled already biting into the timbers of the wagon's bed. Okay, we appear to have three choices here. Choice one. The Factorium leapt into the wagon, looking for anything of value before they were lost to the flames. Foolishly, foolish risks the lead. What? Foolish risks lead to injuries, lost friends, and in flamed nether regions. The Factorium gave the wagon a wide berth and continue to journey, okay? And we don't have an ice belt, so we can't really douse it. So, uh, you know what, screw it. Let's jump in. Okay, so we chose the jumping in and looking for anything that was there. So, he hopped into the wagon and the flames licking at his heels. He tossed a few stashes of goods out the back before following himself. Within moments, the wagon was completely engulfed in flames, and Service the Bear turned to his rescued supplies. 
There was a surprising number of valuables in the charred boxes and sacks, which he took before continuing on, leaving the burned wagon, burning wagon behind him. So what did we get? We got uh, celestial leather armor of the whale. It's magical armor, well-fitted leather armor, uh, fits around the torso. Uh, 18 health, 3% mana regeneration, 10% movement speed, physical, 15% physical. Uh, okay. Ooh, we got minuses. Uh, minus 10% spell range and speed, and, ooh, minus 10%. Mana regeneration is not much. Nah, we'll hold off on that one just now. And we got... Eight magical essence that can be traded for items or for use for enchanting. Okay, let's continue. Uh, let's go here. Okay. Windmar Wilderness. Service the bear came across a small camp in the wilderness of Windmar. One hastily abandoned. Meat was spitted at the fire. Those embers still smothered or smoldered, sorry. Tent flaps fluttering fluttered in the breeze, and sacks and satchels lay about, untouched and unspoilt. There was no one and nothing in sight. But nobody abandoned their property without reason. Okay, two options here. One, the Factorium entered the camp to check for anything of magical value. Two, just because the world was destroyed by magic and the entire religion was hunting him and every semblance of normal life was frankly impossible did not mean Ceres the Bear needed to make someone else's day worse. He left the belongings alone. You know what? Since I'm an evil little bastard, I'm going to go in and take all the stuff. Okay. There were, in fact, remaining inhabitants, dead in their sleeping rolls. Whatever killed them had also stripped them of anything of value, leaving the wizard with nothing more than corpses. Great. So I've just been feeling up dead bodies. Nice. Let's move on. Okay. Brostome. Service the bear approached the distant Brostome. He saw a figure of the farmer, Selas, as she passed through the high walls and into the safety of the town. Unfortunately, the walls were not enough, as a miasma storm traveled on her heels. And the corrupted were able to push through the woefully understaffed front gate. Okay. By the time service the bear arrived, Rostam was lost to the corrupted, but he was still needed to make his way to the Nexus. Okay. Looks like we are going to be going to here, I think. Okay. Let's have a little water around here. Things are fairly open. I still think effect baby volume is still a bit too loud for my liking. Let's turn some things down. Turn to 25. Turn that to 40. Don't let the voice, I'll leave the voice stay in. Just put that at 50 right now. I don't want to get too low on her. It's just too, it's just coming through my headphones. <laughs> I'll put that up. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Alright.
I just noticed the rain is coming through the roof. Hear my cat in a second. Here he comes. What is it? What? Little whiny one. I'm recording. You're going to be on YouTube with your whiny. Meow. Come here. Come on. Well, if you want the attention, come here and get it then. Wait a minute. Yeah. That psychic Brad, he's being a boof. Most likely he's wanting more nibbles, but he's not getting any more nibbles. He's got plenty of food. Right. Okay, it looks like we can't really pick up anything here. Just we know there's a health function here, which is pretty handy. Everything goes awry. I don't think that was us, we did that. 
This place is falling apart. Yeah, we can't get anywhere. Yeah, we're not getting in there. <laughs> Saying the health potion pulled on about 14. About 14. Demolished the place. Uh, uh, yeah, totally demolished it, man. Look at it. Oh, so much for the tavern. So much for those like they're trying to find anything. Now we're gonna find it. Oh, look, we can go still go up the stairs. <laughs>
Okay, so after the encounter, Service Bear stored, sorted through what uh, he had collected before heading off. I hear you, little man, calm down. So, killed everyone he could find. Such was his rage. <laughs> Service Bear was a destructive force through the area, the devastation on the mountain can be seen to this day. Oh, great, yeah. So what I picked up was nine magical lessons. Okay, let's continue on. Now, Grave Danger basically awaits here. That's the Inquisition Legion. They are basically controlling that location. Uh, so I need to move on. So, it was a long climb to the top of the Grand Mountain of Vizier. 
full of broken roads and sheer rock walls, rough enough to tire even the factorum before he cast, crested the summit. There the road forked, one branch leading to the nexus and onward, and the other to a village where the lights of an inn twinkled invitingly. Normally he would ignore such trivialities, but it had been a very long climb. Two options here. So, me decided that a night with a hot meal on the rest was worth the risk of being spotted and walk towards the inn. I lose three essence or two. No, I would not allow myself to be distracted. distracted. So I stretched my aching muscles and turned my back on the village and heading to the next. I go with heading to the next. Okay. So, we're in Hidimaro. The Factorium strolled through the small village of Hidimaro without incident, even though it would easily add an hour to his journey. Service the bear was close, Ch chose a wooded path. Hidimaro was famous for its rivers and waterfalls, and during his walk, he spotted the sign of a shop. Panos. Supplies and gifts. The wizard decided to take a look, and was pleasantly surprised to find its owner friendly, and the shop well stocked. We shall continue. I don't know if I can save here, so I'm going to have a quick check. So, I'm going to save it here, hopefully, if I can. Maybe can we save it here? I think we can. Rest. Alright, there we go. Uh, Any question should be down, the Factorum's aching body groaned. Right, for rest. They found a school to spot the area. Knowing this would give us sure more time to find him. I think we'll risk it. Okay, so I'm going to hold it there for now, and we will pick it up in uh, the next episode.